interesting uh, perspective on how cyclones are named. Yes, we did a little digging on this and Gauri has all the details to tell us how exactly do we come up with these interesting names? Why is Cyclone Nivar called Nivar? Gauri, over to you. Exactly, Afrida. So whenever we hear the word cyclone, actually a lot of dread and a lot of anxiety and fear is attached to that particular word. But uh, these quirky names that we keep uh, listening to whenever a cyclone hits uh, any of the countries actually always creates a lot of interest as to how these cyclones are being named. So I'll try and explain simply to our viewers how these cyclones are named. Uh, we have been hearing names like Amphan, Nisarga, even Katrina, Foni, Hurhur, and even Irma. These kind of names we keep on listening when it comes to cyclones. So for naming cyclones actually, guidelines have been laid, uh, laid by World Meteorological Organization. Now it is an UN body, international body, which monitors weather, climate and water cycle across the globe. Uh, now the practice of naming storms actually started in United States and the basic purpose was to name the cyclones in a simpler way so that it is easy to identify, it is easy to remember, it is easy to understand and also so uh, the, uh, the entire procedure to create awareness among people also becomes easier. Uh, it is not possible with the, a technical number or a technical term. Uh, that is why a simpler term uh, is being given to cyclones for the purpose of identification. Now moving on, in mid-1900s, uh, it's, it's an extremely interesting trivia, storms were only given feminine names. But male names were assigned to storms only after uh, 1900s. In fact, towards the end of 1900s, we saw that forecasted, uh, forecasters actually started using male names uh, for the cyclones and storms in southern hemisphere. Now, <coughs> how these names actually are decided currently? Northern Indian Ocean region. Uh, this is basically a group of countries which names cyclones which occur in Bay of Bengal and also in Arabian Seas. Now, who all are part of this uh, North Indian Ocean region? 13 members are part of uh, this particular uh, group. Uh, it includes Bangladesh, India, Maldives, Myanmar, Oman, Pakistan, Sri Lanka and Thailand and also in 2018 five more countries were added in this particular region. Uh, it includes Iran, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, UAE and Yemen. Now, uh, what happens, uh, what actually these 13 nations do? A total of 169 cyclones uh, were named by these countries for this year and 13 names were actually, uh, na 13 names were given by each of these countries. Every member's name is listed in alphabetical order and the cyclone names are used sequentially column wise. So this is how the names of cyclones are decided by these particular countries. And names, uh, there are certain parameters which needs to be uh, kept in mind while naming cyclones by these member countries. Uh, first, parameter it is uh, that the cyclone name should be short and should be easily understood. Another important thing is that names must not be culturally sensitive and should be in line with local sensibilities. And of course, uh, if uh, towards the end, I just want to let our viewers know it is a small trivia for uh, our viewers. If you are wondering how this particular cyclone, which is currently approaching Tamil Nadu and Puducherry and Andhra Pradesh, uh, uh, Nevar is named. So uh, the thing is that this particular cyclone was actually named by Iran, another uh, member of North Indian Ocean region. Thanks so much, Gauri. I, of course, uh, am enlightened uh, learning about this. It's the first time I got to know how cyclones are named. And I used to, in fact, wonder how these names used to crop up each time. Th each time. Thanks for joining us.